I, I think we have to reimagine how we approach professional sports, and in particular the NBA. The NBA is now part of a global entertainment industry. The quaint notion that it's all walk-up sales and attendance is gone. Now most of the money and in the future a vast majority of the money is going to come through media rights that are paid outside the state and that money flows into the state if we have an NBA team. As we speak, an NBA team adds about $130 million to the Wisconsin economy. That share is only going to grow. In short order, it will be $200 million within five years and it will grow eventually to $300 million. The proceeds for which we get to the state of Wisconsin flows from the NBA's salaries to the players. Those players pay income taxes and that benefits the general fund, which at that point benefits all citizens of the state of Wisconsin. Well, you have to understand that there's only 22 states that have an NBA team. In particular, we've already seen what's happened to other states that lose an NBA team. And if you focus on the state of Oklahoma, there is granular level data at of uh, state gross domestic product sales, and you can follow Oklahoma's state GDP when they had an NBA team, they lost an NBA team, and they've got an NBA team back. You'll see every time an NBA team moved, each one of those economies gained or lost $130 million, depending on whether they added the team or lost the team. That would be the same situation here. If you think in terms of performing arts or other entertainment or other sports outlets as an alternative to the NBA, the NBA, because of its international presence, gets money from outside the state. And that's the most important part to understand. When Disney and Turner Network Television writes $2.6 billion checks, those deals don't walk down the street every day. This is a one-time opportunity, a generational opportunity, that if the state of Wisconsin passes, it would not get back. The media rights deal for the NBA is going to increase 216% in one year. I do not know of any other industry in the state of Wisconsin for which the principal revenue stream will increase by that much at one pen stroke. We have to understand anytime any NBA team comes in, they pay income taxes to the state of Wisconsin. We collect more from the NBA activity right now than the amount that we're being asked to put forward here. There's already more than adequate coverage ratio as it stands and the revenues will only get bigger. We will clearly have a almost three to one return in terms of what we have to put forward and what we would get back. And I haven't even considered anything along the lines of any knock-on effects at all to what does it mean for restaurant trade, what does it mean for hotels, what does it mean for construction employment. No, just straight up, the NBA on its own self will more than pay for the deal.